Hi guys, I'm going to do a little video today mainly about matte finish and how you can mat your baby down. But I wanted to say, yeah, it's my birthday, yay. But this is the cutest thing ever. My son makes, he made me a card. And, um, what's funny is I love the game Big Little Planet, or what's it called? Little Big Planet. And everything we have little jokes about and everything that I love that he does is in here. And, like, we were looking at baby hedgehogs the other day. So, and they're purple. Baby hedgehogs are purple. So he made me a purple Sonic. <laughs> There's just all kinds of cute stuff on there. And then he said, I love you, Mom. There's, I love you, Mom. Oh, nothing better in the world. So anyway, that made my day. His little birthday card. So anyway, I want to talk to you. Oh, and the quality of this video isn't going to be the best because I'm just going to upload it the way I usually have to. Because if I do the the YouTube capture version, it's it takes forever. A two-minute video can take me a half hour to upload, and that's just ridiculous. So I'm going to upload it the old way until I can figure out what's wrong. And I will also, at the end, I'll put some pictures in that are very clear for you guys to see. So this quality isn't going to be the greatest today. But anyway, okay, here we go. So matte finish. Scary part. That's the scary part of a baby for me. The, the, the final matte finish was scary for me. The eyebrows were scary and the matte was scary. So I'm going to make it so it's not scary for you. So after your baby is painted, the eyebrows are done, everything is done, that's when you do your matte finish. And this is matte finish that I bought, whoops, <laughs> that I'm dropping, that I bought from Bonnie Full Baby. There you go. And what I do, I've, I've said this before, but if you guys can afford to get a few clay tools, they come in a package of maybe eight and they're really cheap. They're maybe under $10. These are amazing for reborning. Just they come in handy for everything. Little scratch scratches, pimples, spreading stuff, um, eyebrow. They come they're just wonderful tools to have along with your brushes and things when you're reborn. So anyway, I take this tool because it has like a flat thingy like that. And I will take out just a little bit. Just a little bit like that. Then I will take my sponge. Where's my sponge? And I will spread it on here in a nice, even, thin layer. Real even, real thin. And if there's stuff left on the edges, I scrape that away. We don't want that there. So it's real even and really thin. And what I used to do, I didn't make it very thin. I would kind of, I'd make it even, but there was pretty thick layer on there. And when I did that, my babies would turn out chalky. I would freak out and have to take it off and start over again. And the one good thing is about the matte finish, you have to bake it a few times so it sticks really good. So if you do screw up the first time and it looks chalky, you can easily take another sponge like this, get your thinner, and wet, wet the sponge down and wipe it off. So if you screw up the first time, don't worry. So you can take that off easily because if you bake it like the first layer of matte, I bake it 10 minutes, 275, 280 in the oven. So if you, like I said, if you screw up the first time, don't worry, you can take it off. But okay. So I have my very thin layer on, evenly spread, no, nothing left on the sides. You got your little baby head, and you just start pouncing. You want to pounce, you know, just blend all that, let it soak into the vinyl. You know your first pounce right there? That's where the most matte finish is going to be, so to blend that out. Just make sure that gets blended out, you know. And just keep doing that, and keep doing that, and keep doing that. And then you'll need a little more, and you keep doing the same thing. And this should be perfect. It should be a nice, even mat. It'll keep your baby from being shiny. Some people like the baby really rough. They like that texture. I like it where you can feel that it's matte, but not really rough. I don't know. Babies don't feel really rough. So that's the way I like it. But you can do more, I mean, if you want to. So I do all that. Pat it. And sometimes you will get a line. This is the third time I've tried making this video. If I repeated myself, I am so sorry. But anyway, sometimes you get a line because of the edges on this thing. So what I do is I fold this like that, and then I pat the line. And you pat the line out, and there's no more line. And you have to really look and see if you've done that. It's hard to see. And that's where this comes in handy. Ta-da! Wait. <laughs> that's the thing I posted yesterday, my, my little toy I bought. Um, you wear it on your head. If you haven't seen my video yesterday, and you have all these different lenses you can pick from, like, there's a bunch. And you can see which two makes you see the best. I mean, you have to play around with it and figure out what's what. But this is so amazing. I started rooting Niles yesterday. I could see everything. And it, I have really bad eyes, so it made me so happy. 
a lot of you are asking about this, and I put the link in the description of yesterday's video. The video says something about my toy in it. So the link is in the video. It's only $11. The price went up a buck. But I love this thing. If you can, go get it. It's wonderful. It takes three AA batteries, batteries, but this came with it. It came with the batteries. So if you buy it directly off the link I posted, it'll have batteries and everything. And the shipping was really fast. I have nothing but good things to say about this. So anyway, I love it. That just helps so much with everything. So that's what I do with the matte finish. Um, what you do, and this is what I do. Other people are different. Everybody's different. But what works best for me, because I want to know that matte finish is stuck on that baby. The first layer, I'll bake like maybe two times in the oven. You know, you bake it, let her cool off, put her back in. Then I'll do a second layer, because I like how that feels and looks, and to be safe that it's on there. And I'll do the same thing after that second layer is on. Bake it um, twice in the oven again. So I've got the second layer on. Okay, I'm going to go bake her. Let her cool off, baker again. So I do that between each layer. So first layer, baker, let her cool off, baker again. Second layer, baker, let her cool off, baker again. And that's how I do my matte finish. And if you want more areas to feel like a little bit rougher, then just put a little bit more on. And you don't have to pat it out so so extremely. Just kind of go boop, 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 boop. And that way it'll be more texturized and you'll be able to feel it better. I don't like it like really hard. I don't like that real rough I want it to feel like there's matte on there, but I don't want to feel really rough because babies don't feel rough, but you do feel you do feel a big difference between the vinyl before and after. So that's what I do. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment section. I will help you. It's very easy. And the biggest mistake I made was putting too much on my sponge. That's all I used to do wrong. So you just put thin, 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 even layer. That's how you do. Pounce like heck all over the place. Look for lines. Pounce the lines out. There you go. That's what you do. Easy sneezy. So you do it all over the baby. You don't do their lips. You don't do their, um, what else don't you do? I can't think. Fingernails. <laughs> don't do the lips and fingernails. Try to avoid it. But if you do get them, don't panic. They'll still shine up nice. So that's what's going on with the matte finish. I can't think of anything else to tell you about that. If you have questions, please let me know. This is Niles, and I started rooting him. Barely. <laughs> this is just a little line. I'm mapping out his little rootedness. And I'm trying to get very few hairs at a time. It looks like a lot. It's not. Let me see. Can you see? Right here, there's almost one hair at a time in that whole line. Almost. It's hard to do. But he's going to have very, very pretty hair when I'm done. So I started rooting him. I'm mapping. I have a, um, two other videos or three other videos about rooting. It'll tell you how to root and how to start. And yeah. So maybe I have enough time. I could do something. Okay, wait. When I root, let's put his little head back in here. Good pair of scissors. Nice sharp scissors. A really good pair of pliers. A good one. Of course, a baby brush. Paul Frank. Um, um your rooting tool. Do the hand thing. Your rooting tool. I have a big old thing of rooting needles somewhere around here. Uh, whoops, now I'm losing everything. Okay. <laughs> a long rooting needle that I need to cut. I don't root with just the needle because they break so easily. When I first rooted a baby, I think I broke 40 needles on the first two babies. It was ridiculous. So I don't root with just this. Some people are great at that. I'm not. I, I love the mushroom tool. And as long as you don't like bend it, it's not going to break. So I have my scissors, tweezers, mushroom tool, uh, rooting thingies. Oh, and my plier thingies. Where are that? Where are that? <laughs> Where are those? I don't know. It's the things that you cut the rooting needle with. And they sell them on Bonnieful Baby. That's where I got mine and I really, really like it. So that's the, the uh, things that you will need. Rooting tool, scissors, rooting needles, pliers, brush. Oh, a little bottle of water. Where's my... See, I can't find anything. I'm so disorganized. A little bottle of water to wet the head down. Oh, here are some tips I learned the hard way. Okay. I, I, I go crazy with wetting the hair down when I, when I root a baby. You just... You don't need to do that. I actually spritz some, the table, put my finger on it, and then do it. Because I don't want to keep getting his face wet over and over and over again. So I actually get a little thing of water. You could put a little thing of water in a bowl 
and just dab your finger in and then just do this instead of spritzing the whole head because you're just constantly wiping the baby's face and it can mess up what you've done. So that's, I think that's a lot better way to do it because I have taken off paint before in the early days. So um, yeah, those are what you need. I like to put him in a bowl and I like to put a towel inside the bowl so his head is secure and this way you can just do do do. It's really easy that way. But I do have really great videos on rooting and how to root a swirl. If you guys want me to make a new video, tell me, and I will. So is I, that's it. Oh, wow, I'm only at 10 minutes. Um, I hope I helped you with anything. Uh, or, uh, what, what is her name? It's not Annie. What's her name? The baby is supposed to come here. Allie, right? Allie? I think so. She's not here yet, and I'm confused because the, uh, here. is Sophie still over here? Oh, wait, wait, let me get her. I have a couple minutes left. There's Sophia. She came. I don't want to see me. She came the uh, day after they shipped her, which was really, really fast. And now the other one, she's breathing. And the other one, it said it did FedEx shipping. She was brought here by FedEx. So the tracking says, like, Watch for, your tracking will show up in two to three days. It's not there. It's like she wasn't shipped yet. I'm confused. So I'm going to give it today. If she doesn't show up today, I'm going to call them tomorrow and see what's going on. Because I got her the day after. Why is why is she taking so long? It's my birthday. Maybe I'll get her today. Wouldn't that be great? So there she is. She's so cute. She's breathing. Can you see it? Her little heart's going. Oh, I love her so much, you guys. I think she is just as good as a reborn. I mean, she's not painted like a reborn, but I just love her. I really love her. If you can get her, get her. She sells out so fast, though. Okay, turn her back off. So I guess that's it, guys. I can't think of anything else. If you need any help with anything or you want to request a video, you know, just let me know. And I will do some more videos while I'm reading him. And that's it. I'm at 12 minutes, so I love you guys very much. I'm just going to have fun today because it's my birthday, and I'm not going to worry about anything today. So, whoop, another birthday wish. <laughs> All right, we, you guys, we love you very, very much. And stay very, very cute. Wait, how do I see your face? All right, bye, guys. Love you. Mwah.